You guys ready to dive into this bucket? Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dupes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Alright, so we are in the driver's seat here of the research uh, table. So basically, before we start, I want to let everybody know I am in no way an expert on vintage cameras. Um, I have this tub of vintage cameras that was given to me and lenses. And basically, I am learning... I know a little bit about cameras, but not anything about vintage cameras. So I am learning along this journey with you as well. So basically what we're going to do is, is we're going to open up this first one just to kind of give you an idea of the process in which I'm going to go through on each individual piece that we have here. So this is a nice, um, I don't know if this is real. This is not real leather, but this is a nice little uh, case, lens case here. And it has like a little tag on it that you can identify your case with. Um, so we're going to pull this lens out. All right. So it looks like we have a nice size lens here. This is a Nikon. It has the lens cap right there. Um, so when you are identifying or trying to identify a lens, um, they'll either be on the inside of the lens or in this case, um, around the ring of the lens. So here you can see you have your brand name, which is Nikon. Then it looks like, I'm assuming this is the model. And then after that, you have your focal length. And then after that, you'll have your aperture. So basically you can just use that information to type into the computer. And then we will figure out uh, comp prices for this uh, lens. There's a little bit of damage on this lens. Now, as far as if it works, I, I have no idea. Um, Basically, you have to, you know, consider that into your pricing and your description, obviously. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and figure out what we got here, guys. So we have finished our initial round of research. Um, as you can see, I have pulled everything out of the bags and the cases. Um, and I did a little bit of research. There's a couple of big winners in here and there's a couple of, uh, you know, just regular price items. But like I said, I got really fortunate. I got all, all of this stuff free of charge. So this will all be profit, um, you know, minus my labor, eBay fees, PayPal fees, shipping fees, blah, 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 blah fees. But uh, yeah, so I did learn a, a whole bunch of stuff, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, that's always uh, the end game. It's like, you know, when you get stuff like this, it forces you to kind of um, research and learn some things that you may not know. And now when you're going out and, um, you know, hunting for new items, you, you might get lucky and come across something that you learned about while doing the research on these items. So let's just go ahead and run right into this stuff and I will let you know. All right, so here we have a Nikon Core, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, 200 millimeter, uh, one to four F stop uh, vintage. So this lens was made in 1977 to 1981. Um, and it's got both of the caps for the lens on there as well. And this one also comes with this little case here, um, as I showed you guys in the beginning. 
and this will probably I'll list for about $75. Now, some of these things, the comps were like all over the place or not a lot recently sold. So, you know, like my man Cernok says, you kind of got to make up your own comp and make up your own story. So um, that's where we went with a couple of these pieces. Next up is this flash right here. This is a Sunpack uh, Auto 266D. And this is made for a Nikon. It's got the little folding here. Obviously, none of this stuff is tested. This looks in really good condition, though. Um, so, yeah, and it's got a little carrying bag I'm going to throw in there, too. That will probably get listed for, like, 15 bucks. Um, this is an antique right here. Uh, as you can see, it's in antique condition. <laughs> um, so this is a, what is it, what do they call Leica? it again? It's an um, antique Kodak number no. two folding autographic brownie. This was made between the years of 1915 and 1926. Um, and I don't know how it works, but I'm going to attempt to show you how to, it opens. So you open this part here. And then you open that, and then this pulls out. Oh, that is old timey. Yeah, it's old school, right? It looks really cool on there. Yeah. Uh, so, um, folding it, putting it back in though. Um, I already forgot how I do it. Oh, how do I do that? I just did this. And now I can't remember how I did it. Okay. So we'll worry about that later. <laughs> uh, okay, so next up is... How much was that? Going? Oh, yeah, this is goes for... I'm going to probably list it for like 20 bucks. They, this one was all over the place. Uh, there's some that are in really good condition that were going for a lot more. But like I said, this is just... Um, I... I I'm not too, I don't know if, if it's in working condition. I don't know how good a condition it's in. So. Yeah, it might be something for display. Yeah. That's cute. Um, so next up was this guy. Now I thought this would be worth a lot more because it's like, you know. Telephoto? Well, yeah, and it's just, it's big and it's bulky. It's got the nice little ring mount to it too. Um, but yeah, this lens right here is a sun, is a Sun high tele zoom lens. Um, f stop is 4.8, uh, 85 to 210 millimeter, and it's got the mount with it too. Um, but yeah, this I got another little carrying case. Obviously, some of these cases probably didn't come with them, but I'll throw them in because what the hey. And that one will probably list for 20 bucks, give or take. Um, next up is, the, where is the icon? Oh, okay. So this is like a lens converter. Um, and this is a super Albinar auto tele converter two times for Nikon AI. And this will list for about $25 and it's got a little little case with it too all right next up is this is where things started to get a little interesting all right here we are this is a nikon nikkor 50 millimeter lens with the um automatic focus mount there uh, both the caps and a little carrying case to go with it um, this 50 millimeter nikon lens will probably list at 85 dollars now, will we get that? I don't know. Obviously, I'll be opening up on offers and all this stuff. Uh, burn and turn, as my man here likes to say. Uh, so, next up is the big one of the whole bunch. So, this is a Nikon FM2 is the camera. And you can see it has the original Nikon strap with it here. Um, it's in okay condition. It's obviously got some wear to it which will, you know, be reflected in the final price that I listed for. But this will also come with a Nikon 28 millimeter um, F-stop 1 to 28 lens. 
and this will also come with a little Hoya um, uh, filter also. And I'm going to shoot for the stars with this one. Um, and I'm going to list the whole package for 400 And then we'll see where that goes from there. But that was definitely the biggest uh, ticket of the bunch. And then... Doo, doo, doo. Was that, that was the last one? Yeah. Okay. And then we got this guy. Uh, and shout out Commonwealth Picker. This came when we were making our video. We got our own anime now. So he's going to be over here. Hanging out on the books for good luck. But this is the last one. Number eight. So I figure, you know, we do this one last. The super eight for the eight. All right. Bong. There you go. This thing is in gorgeous condition. And as you can see, we have the manual and the carrying case for it too. But I mean, look at the, ins look at the inside of that. Look how clean that is. Oh. Ooh. Super clean for the Super 8. So yeah, with the case um, and this really nice condition, even though it's untested, and the manual, I think I'll probably list it for around 50 bucks, give or take. Uh, so yeah, that's all the vintage camera stuff that we pulled out of the bucket. So we're going to go ahead and get that stuff listed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys might have learned something. I learned a little bit. Obviously, I know very little, but um, hopefully I know enough to get this stuff up on eBay and see how much we can sell it for. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys later.